In man, let's see the contest that's going to be going down. KCD let's go, chat. With the contest over at land. Let's lock it in. Let's go, chat. Thank you guys for being here, man. We love you. We're the official B stream. Game number one, KCP. So excited to be here, chat. Thank you guys so much for the support. Shout out EA for having us. And let's have a wonderful next four days. Yep. And let me know the audio too, chat, please. And here we go. KCP taking that fight. I think it's going to be KCP versus DZ. Ooh, the Prowler pickup. Oh, and Panthers is going to go down. Nasuke's going to go down. It's going to be up to Sir Del here. Oh, no. And Del goes. And oh Dark my. Zero <sighs> laying oh. down the law early. Oh, my goodness, chat. 650. Yeah, I also want to I also want to say shout out to XO2. You know, through the international scrims, <laughs> they played at an absurd pain. It was a slide show. And they still were go going in there, giving it their best. Yeah. And now they're at one of the biggest stages possible. Yeah, and, and, and as you say that, it's going to get knocked here at the biggest stage possible. And they're going to be going down. And we got a caster's curse going on. Greek, they're dying to Gombre. And look what she just did to these poor, poor souls, bro. Kill up now, going to try to stay alive. You are one horrible individual for that, dude. And Gombre is going to be pulling up, bro. I mean, yeah, welcome to the main stage. Or that's the first, and it certainly will not be the last yeah. coming from us. Yeah, that's for sure, man. The curse is real from time to time. Well, Vex sure. does not. Yeah, so Vex got to walk in. We have fights now breaking out on the choke. They're looking to land here, and they're going to land on the oh third party God. opportunity. And I believe this is going to be DZ and Fnatic now fighting. And we're going to have fun coming in for the third. Oh, and Obli gets cracked there. The smoke does come out. The smokes are going to be big, bro. But you have to make sure that you don't actually use it for their advantage. And fun one, two, three, fighting for their lives here. It's going to be against DZ. Jen Burton goes down. The storm three is coming. Oh my goodness, Dark Zero. DZ and Fun both eliminated. Oh man, that is not a great play out of the boys at Fun, man. We have ESA now walking up. Cody's going to be the last one alive. ESA dying to Vex. Vex is still, I believe, a full three man. And my man Cody. Oh, oh my god. Jitterame that baby, Cody. And Vex is going to get eliminated too, and Cody's still alive. Oh my god! And Esports Arena goes down and he's not doing that on controller. But look who it oh is! My god. Bro, no one does this better than NRG. Look at the overextension from Sweet in order to get the KP and wipe the teams behind. The only issue I see now is Fnatic is gonna be able to walk up. NRG is looking for more here. Yeah, they are playing very aggressive. The team that does not scrim and does deny knowledge is going to be trying to take some fights. They can't go back. I believe Fnatic's on their backside. Yeah, they did get mirrored by Fnatic here. NRG is going to make a tough decision here. Do they try to go forward or go back? Oh and no. Sweet is getting pinched here. Oh, Guild and, and Sweet go down, man. Nathan going to be the last one alive. And NRG, with that aggressive push, gets wiped now with Fnatic on the backside. And that's going to be a great push by Fnatic. They're still alive, baby, and they're still kicking. Along with E6, just trying to hold out the guard and make a play onto them. Still nine squads alive. Slayer is going to get dropped on here by, I think, all three of the boys at the guard. He's going to pop a bat. He's going to get knocked. And GHS is eliminated as this is all happening. Amphi needs to go nuclear with his height. He's actually going to drop down now and try to make it Gets work. Gets the knock on the Rambo. And, and it's not going to be enough. E6 goes down. And we're going to have Crazy Raccoon coming in for the third party. Oh, my goodness, man. E6 eliminated the guard, though. Still a two-man up. It's going to be a 2v2. I believe that's going to be RKM, though. One shot. It's going to be Arcan going down. And Rambo is also dead. And CR, baby. As a duo. What a great That play. is a hell of a play from them. Heads up play to see the trades. Oh, look at this. We have Fnatic, man. Absolute monsters right now. Just looking for every bit of KP. Park is going to go down. They just need to stay alive here. They just need to play their life, play a little bit slow, and they'll be good. Patch. But here we go, chat. Five squads, 13 now. We're going to have final round closing on in. Let's get it locked and loaded. Fnatic in an absolute god spot. I think they're the team to watch right now, Greek. Thoughts? Yeah, absolutely. Fnatic do have to make a move here. They are on the lower side, but they do have the Bangalore. They can continuously smoke off the height. Yeah. They're going to have a Bangal as well, which is going to be a problem for the height team. Yeah. Their main concern right now, I believe, is going to be IBG over on the southwest side. They have to watch out. And they're going to get aggressive onto them, Greek. They do have the Digis. And here we go. One With knock the comes Cyril. out, baby. That's a great job. The double, the Cyrilty coming out, the smokes. They get a double knock. But look how they back out. And they make sure they get the reset before they full kill Greek. Because they know other teams are going to start looking. Yeah, it's very smart. Yeah. One thing about Fnatic is they're a team that likes to fight. But they are very, very patient and methodical yep. with how they fight. They're so smart, man. Look at this. 
Here we go. More KP for the boys. Oh my god. Kick, Kick is going to be eliminated. It's going to be IBG eliminated as well. We're going to have, I think, post kill last alive. It's going to be a 3v3v1 right now. Post is in the top three as a rat with IG versus Fnatic. Yep. The smoke's now coming out from Altera. He's doing a great job keeping his team alive right now. Can post do it. The singular the bang rat. goes down. And he gets two go. stuns, I believe. IG is going to have to jump down here while Fnatic is in perfect head glitch. And I don't even know where Post is in this situation, man. He's underneath. They he just underneath. jumped on him. They jumped down. Ascend going to be eliminated. They're going to get another knock on the Graceful here. And here we and go. And Fnatics are your game one champions. Oh, my goodness, man. They all right. Here we go, chat. I think. Oh, you said DC. I mean, they're all going to get touched in the middle pills. So, if you guys don't know, bro, in mills, man. The middle pills are phenomenal. They are it looks like KCP has the jump here, though. I think they are ahead. Yeah, their flying's a little bit better, man. And flying in this situation uh, is so here we cool. go. Nasky, what does he get? He gets the, the Mozam. Oh, the tap strafe. The, the super glad tap strafe. Purple armor, though. Oh, my gosh. And they should be immediately back off of this, and that's what they're going to do. I like this call a lot more. The two to four Sentinel, yeah. though. We know that the Sentinel now with the buff, no, one cell. No more. I think it's done. What? Oh, with the, oh, with the buff one cell. I think he meant the, the, the zero cell. My bad. Oh, yeah. One cell here on white armor is a one-tap headshot. Yeah. I, it's kind of it's actually really good to get off spawn. Yeah. If you charge it up, it might be worth it. But would you charge it up with only two K, uh, two cells? I might. We saw Nasky pick up like six already. Oh, did he? Yeah, he has cells. Yeah, it might be worth it, man. I would do it. 100% I'm charging. Yeah, yeah, no doubt. All right. KCP, though, looking a lot more dominant so far in this one. They have the ultimate high ground. They have DZ trapped on the low ground. Let's see if they can capitalize. And here comes the triple Q from DZ. Yeah, and that's going to be the horizon diff right now from the low ground to the high. Even though they're double horizon, one thing you have to watch out for is just the horizon Q up. Don't forget, perfect accuracy on that thing right now. That nerf was not intentional. So now we're going to have the boys with the double scans coming out, man. And we're going to have a Bloodhound horizon, Ooh. Bloodhound horizon. But the only advantage they have, man, is the Bangalore for smokes. When the boy Pander scans are down, it's going to be a huge, huge hit to KCP because it's off the Nasuke man with his passive to recognize where they're at yeah absolutely here they do the double scans are big for this and this is the exact reason why they're running this comp yeah i mean this this comp is pretty crazy pretty pretty wild man it's a pretty strong comp double scans I'm not a huge fan of that and here we go oh. the fight's gonna break out we're gonna panders knocked and my boy getting stuck on the door up top nasuke looking for the armor swap it does not matter and sir dell goes down and kcp now going down for the second time, DZ with the 2-0 yeah. off spawn. Existing, but there's two teams that like to fight yeah. and don't want to have another team in their building. We're seeing them right here, bro. LG and Vex, same building. A fight should surely break out here. Yeah, I mean, just looking at the teams, you know, Luminosity, very, very good fighting team. But if the fight does take place in the house, I got to give... The edge to Vex with the catalyst. They're able to block doors, yeah. cover cover certain pathways with the Q. But Luminosity does have, is it double scan? Are they rocking double scan or no? Uh, I'm not too sure. I think Luminosity might be rocking the double scan. We can see here. No, they're rocking the Bangalore Blood. And I think that's still a really solid comp. But look at Vex already getting active underneath. They want to take this fight immediately. Vex is so aggressive. I don't think there's a more aggressive team in the world. Yeah, we normally don't see them play a lot of zone. But when they do play zone, they like to clear out teams and pick up a lot of KP. Uh, there we go. And Tyler getting the first knock onto Nizul. And the trade comes down. out. And they don't get another knock on this right side. Unlucky's going to have to go big here, bro. Tyler down early. And it's going to be up to Matafe. And even with that opening damage, the boys at LG put their foot down and tell the boys at Vex to back the hell off, man. What a great hold by LG. How did they lose that Greek? Yeah, I mean, the knockdown shield coming out nuclear there for luminosity yeah it's up to yaguaras here as the solo he is getting ran at gets out of the serial but is it going to be enough oh man and, and he ties not. to the charge rifle up top and now singularity with the loba all is going to be able to yoink that loot Look oh my god i can't take it one thing i do want to point out though about playing crypto and comp is we see a lot of players who are very fidgety yeah. and always have to be like moving around and shooting it takes a real goat to be that patient. Yep. And here we go. NRG taking a big fight now up top. Nathan going to be 1 HP. I think this is going to be CR. Oh, Greek. Nathan. 
and he goes down to the arc star. Oh no, the knock coming out for Nate. The grenades going huge, and I think Guild and Sweet are gonna look to back up here. I don't know if they can. They're just running away at this point. Nate's gonna They're gonna be, be sliding early. into more teams here. Oh yeah, there's no way they're gonna be safe here now walking up, and Guild's gonna be dead. It's up to Sweet. And that's he's a, a third party, that's Onik yeah, that's coming in to third it. That's gonna be Onik, bro, coming on in, and they're gonna eliminate two from NRG with the help of CR. Actually, both getting 1kp, sharing NRG, bro, like a Thanksgiving plate. And we're gonna have just Sweet, the only one alive now, big dog. And Sweet's done some st stuff as rats, man. Oh, it's it's awesome, man. I mean, I, I love seeing I love seeing other regions really starting to step up, bro, and starting to close that gap against NA. Sweet does the Kraber. Bro, like how did he just get a Kraber? This is just data mining knowledge. This is He just does get Sear scan though. <laughs> He has seven shots of a Krabby Patty formula. Can he make it work? He's getting shot from the left, and the data mining does not come up big enough. He goes down, and the boy Sweet is going to be knocked, and Exo is going to get a free Kraber with seven shots from Sweet. I've never seen a, a player, bro. I'm not kidding. Who's got the Kraber in their hands? Is it Killops? Uh, I think I think so. I think it's Kill. Yeah, triple white foul, Goldie, bro. It's not one for the weak. It's going to be hard to make it work, but... You know those comms are going crazy right now. This is definitely a playable spot here. They can slap that Watson gen down, but triple white armor cannot feel good. Oh, man. I don't think they're going to be able to play here, Greek. You have the teams up top. You have Singularity with the Crypto Drone. They're going to EMP him down, too. And they're now gonna oh, the nade spam. Oh, I don't think Oh, good. my God. How many Arc Stars oh. is that? <laughs> That man just pulled out 16 arcs, 3 frags, and 14 thermites. And Kashera and Ascend with the Falco feed face. More They're arcs. still getting grenaded. Don't forget, Singularity has the window shopping up top. Another one in the face. And Kashera's going to go, another oh arc! My God, and Kashera and Ascend, their death recap is only arc stars, Greek. That is unfrickin' believable, big man. Gonbare fighting as well. Yeah, we're going to have Gonbare now fighting too. We're going to have a lot of teams now taking some fights. It's going to be fun versus Gonbare. Oh my god. Oh my goodness, bro. Fun is somehow staying alive, bro, but Singularity is causing so many problems. They are influencing every fight up here, Greek. And here we go. The raw oh, straight come out. Can he do it? So he the, the last Peter. one alive. And the repeater does not do enough. And Fun is going to eliminate Gombre. But brother, Singularity right now, man. I can only imagine, imagine the damage they have. They have... Oh, oh, yeah, I From mean, up top, they have done nothing but sit here all game with a charge rifle. 150 ammo on the charge rifle, and we saw that when Ascend landed there, they threw 37 yep. arc stars. And we have Fnatic now dying to DZ. DZ coming in clutch here. And Fnatic, your game one winners are eliminated in 13th place. And that's a bad, bad game for Fnatic. Not much KP, but Jem Burns also going to go down. So it's up to Sharky and Zero. That is a great, great job. By DC, but Jen going down is going to be a problem. Here we go. I just rip in the Valkyl chat. Let's see where they land. Don't forget, we still have the boys of the guard down below. And to all the guard fans, man, you might be wondering, why aren't you showing the guard? It's because the guard just sits in the middle of the zone, bro. They don't really do anything till late game. The guard is a very, very, very uh, passive team when it comes to They're going for the house. Oh, this is one hell of a rotate, big dog. I don't know if they make this one. Ciro goes down. It's going to give them a little bit of time, but they might have to fight this team underneath. Yeah. I don't know if this is possible to coexist. I don't think so either, but they're going to have the guard in the back, don't forget. So the guard right now could be shooting them the whole time if they overpeak this. If they want to peak this right side, the guard is going to influence this. They cannot take this fight from the right. They yeah. have to go from another way, but I don't really know where you go. I think IG is in a better spot than the other team that's on the low ground. Yep. They could just cannot peak the height. Yeah. They have to hug this wall here. And oh, the zero, they see the other team peaking. Uh-oh. And it's going to get a little scary if they get pushed here. Look at that zone pull, Greek. Exo sitting in the god spot, and that's an ugly pull, bro. Yeah, that I mean, Exo pull. has found themselves in the ultimate god spot. They have nobody on their back. Ultimate height on the rocks. GHS now with a Valkyrie. It looks like they want to contest Exo. Exo has to fight this. Yeah, there's, there's no, no way, way they let this happen. Nope. And here it is. Whoever wins this fight, Greek, actually might win the game. Dexter going down. GHS with the first knocker. The bangle does he go down. Here. He dies here. Does he get the bang off? Oh, my God. He gets off. I think it was his teammate's bangler. Yeah, yeah, yeah. IG going down. E6 still going down. Cody eliminating one member of fun. GHS is winning this fight, Greek. GHS on the wide swing here. IG dead. And Exo. it should be able to get the full clear here. That is a very, very good play from GHS. They take a risky, risky Valkult. 
Opposite side of the zone, and they clear the team in God spot now. They are in the best spot. Yes, sir, and then we're going to have fun eliminated, bro. The guard still fighting. It's going to be up to Ar Keon all by himself. I don't know where he's going to be. They're just trying to stay alive here. Singularity also in a 1v1 versus the guard, and Keon goes absolutely nuclear, but he's going to go down here. Slayers in a 1v1 versus Keon. Who's going to come out? And E6 goes he got down. The third, though, and I the guard gets third GHS now. Alive over in the back. Keon getting 4KP in that late game, and look who it is. Genji yep. with the Kraber. Sweet Kraber, maybe. It could be. It could they be. did get that from EXO. We have ESA as the other team alive. They have triple red armor. GHS with two red armors. But looking at the zone here, it looks like ESA is going to have to walk out in the open here. And this is going to be big for the Kraber shots, big dog. I mean, this is going to be free shots. It's up to you. Do you have the ice in the veins? Can you hit the shots where it matters? I know I can't. And there he goes. 0-1. I think he goes 4-4 four for four here. Yeah, I mean, he's definitely going to have some angles. The Cyril goes down. And here we go. And ESA walking up. Yep, ESA making a very aggressive push with the oh, with the Horizon Q as well. Ew! Great Kraber shot coming out from the boy Genji. And they're going to get landed on. They have to retake this height. They're getting out angled. Oh, baby. And the flank onto Luda. He gets the knock. Oh, and they're not even getting looked at right now. Can he get the knock? He gets another one. The Kraber coming out, and he gets the Kraber shot. Come on now, baby. GHS with a great hold, and Genji going absolutely nuclear. Come on. APAC North with a 2-0. Give me some. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Greek, what a phenomenal flank. A man. Right we are going to see the last contest versus KCP and DZ. Chad, who do you guys think, man? Who wins this? I think DZ is about to give... KCP, the Hardecki optic treatment. Yeah, I mean, I think they're up I think to they're gonna, I think they're going to do this. Are they dropping sack? I think they're dropping sack around the death boxes. Shout out to the Grim Griefer himself. I want to watch KCP again. I think they're the team to watch in this situation. We could watch DC, though, real, realistically. Where are they at? Right here. Let's watch, let's watch Jim Burton. And here we go. The Mastiff. I mean, getting a Mastiff out of the box is just absolutely gigantic. They didn't get any purple armors, though, so you got to wonder what KCP has. It doesn't really matter because Dell's going down. They get the crack on a white armor now. And it's going to be a 2v3, and DZ is going to full heal as Nasuke is cracked, and so is Panders. Yep. Dark Zero without a Seer, so they cannot cancel a res, but they have all the momentum here. They get the fin, and, and they're just looking to close this my out. My man is jump shotting with a Sentinel down below, trying to hit a <laughs> Hail Mary. And there it is. And that's going to be Nasky getting laid out. Yeah, and this is probably going to be it, man. They're getting and the finished. spam finish. The spam finish coming out. The sack indeed being dropped. And we're going to see the Grim Griever 2.0 coming out for Jim Burton and DZ. And people don't know, man, but Zero likes to talk his shit. He really does. Oh, yeah. I mean, DZ, phenomenal team. They have a lot of accolades behind them. A lot of momentum. And KCP getting absolutely smoked in these first three contests. They're, they're running them down oh, right yeah. now. No, they want to fight. And Sharky's going to be almost 30 HP with a white armor. This could be a bad fight for DZ, but it doesn't look like they have a choice. Oh, my God. DZ a little scuffed on loot here. They didn't get a chance to full reset, loot the death boxes, and the rest of mill out. They got that med kit there for Sharky. He should be able to get the full. And it doesn't look like But here comes the swing. That. Oh, my God. And what a great swing. They do get the knock, though. And it's going to be a 2v2. Jen with some great hard nine shots, bro. He's going to try to break this door. He wants to swing in with the Arc Stars after this. The doors are going to be going down. Great tracking. He cannot get knocked. They do get the knock on the Shady. It's going to be a 2v1 here for Dark Zero. Can he do it? Jen staying alive, playing his health so well. He's just going for the KP at this point. Can he get more? Smart to play for the armor swap here for DZ. That's a fast armor swap on Couture, man. I know I'm not doing that. We hear the Valk flying up. He's going to be fussy all by himself now, hitting a bat on the opposite side. But you have to think, he's popping a bat. They're getting a res. And another team, I believe, from down beast is now going to be coming over too. And it it's is going to be CR. CR coming now in for the third party, bro. That is insanity. There are yeah. so many teams now looking to make a play onto Mills. Yeah, like, I think Gonbray door. fighting now in Ooh. edge. Yeah, they are. Gombre is going to be getting knocked, but I think CR is actually walking up now, too, on the fun. Okay. So you have two fights going on. GHS is going to be going down to Gombre right now, and we have CR trying to take this fight. Again, they don't get it, and they're going to back up now. So they're, they're actually another team, seeing that they cannot take a fight, recognizing that. But you know if this is scrims, they are sending Oh, it. they're they're instantly they're pushing. Face. They're Absolutely. feeding face. But that's the difference between what we're watching, chat, and scrims. 
Yeah. There's a lot more on the line than just a lesson to be learned. Yeah, I agree. A lot more than our regular gold, game, gold games. And look at this, Arcan and the guard getting walked up by Exo. And this might be the guard's first action here in a long time. They haven't really had much towards this late game. Oh, and Rambo getting absolutely smoked on oh, that wide peak. No, bro, and that's what Rambo does pretty pretty wrong, pretty consistently from time to time. He does indeed like to wide peak and get angles, but, I mean, man, you cannot be going down like that, dude. And you know that Rarkan's not happy about that wide peak at all. Rambo instantly going into the pocket to pull out a new port there. Yeah, immediately. But the guard can retreat here. They do have a crypto to potentially get the banner later, and there are two reses in the game. Yeah, they already have the banner, so the res is possible, big dog. It could happen. I just don't know if they're going to be able to stay alive here in this situation because you know XO wants to get this KP. Keon doing a good job of shooting that guy off. The smoke does come down. Can he get the crosser? There is an armor swap on the ground. Woo! He got it, baby. Nice job by Keon, dude. An excellent, excellent job by Thank Keon. You. And that's what you do, man. You get that ulti back. You play that aggressive now. You know. You recognize the abilities that are done and used on the other team, and you take this 3v3. I want to see how crazy the Sentinel goes. The blue armor. They're getting shot in the back as well, I believe, Greek. Looks like they're getting oh, shot from all angles NCR right now. gets the knock first. That's a great job by Whisper to get the knock here. And the Mad Maggie drill is going to be a problem for them when they want to play these corners. And, again, the Seer ulti coming out for CR, and CR wow. is going to wipe fun. And two APAC North powerhouses are going to be going down, and they're at the same thing over here. Gombre going to be eliminating and taking down GHS. More APAC North teams fighting in this game, but the rotation Zone 3 Gombre. coming in, and we have three teams yeah. on the nuts. LG also going to, This is a wild one. They, get, they, get, they it get it off, it. but, but Junk he might die to storm. I think he dies to storm here, Greek. Oh, oh my god, my he makes god, it! Oh my god, he makes it! And the dream is alive, Fnatic now. Gonna be walking in and getting kills there onto Ascent. There are people everywhere. There is everyone everywhere, dude. There is no breaks. This is a tough Valkyl. Yes, and I think Gombre's gonna die here. IBG getting the knocks. And it's gonna be up to Gombre as a two-man just trying to stay alive. I don't know if it's gonna happen. NRG trying to make it work against them. Sweet gonna go down to the wingman of Juusna. And they need a good game here, Greek. NRG cannot have another early exit. They are a very good World's Edge team, but going into those three games with not great starts is not fun at all. And it's a very, very big motivational killer. I think it's going to be Gombre, though, man. Only two men in front of them. They can make this work, Greek. It is not over yet. Gombre's going to be dead. The team that the knocks rest. them is dead, so they yeah. should be able to get a reset here. The guard and descend also go out. Chat, we have 14 squads alive. Yeah, and the guard does go down. Onik is now going to take the fight over to ESA. Vex is going to be across from them as well. Juusna and Gombre do go down. Vex alive. JHS now eliminated too. A lot of APAC North teams dying very early this game. This is now the time for other teams to capitalize on these points being missed out. This is where you start closing that gap a little bit, baby. You start having those little good games towards this end. You start to close that gap when teams start to play bad. Yeah, I mean, I don't really expect NRG to really fight here until Zone 5 fully closes. They're just yeah. going to try to hold as much presence as they can. Best case scenario for them, they hold the first and second floor. Yep. But I do think they can get away with just holding the second floor and letting someone play the low ground here. That's true. But they might look to get a cheeky angle here. As they do on Fnatic, they climb and get the knock on to Matsu. That's bad, man. Fnatic getting caught with their pants down right now, and they're going to get absolutely pushed. NRG wants blood. They know this is the one team they have to wipe in order to secure this building. And this is a great job by NRG. I told you, bro. With the chaos ensuing around you, this is the time right now to capitalize. Yeah, they get the knock on to Matsu. They get the ultimate height now. The Seer ult is down. They have all control of the building here. And NRG's trying to make up for some lost time here. They yeah. want extra KP. And they want it, baby. It's still top eight, though, man. The game is not secure yet for them. And they want to win this game. Two bad games going into World's Edge, their best map. Having a win under their belt Greek could be huge. Yep, Guild getting some good shots here. They are just raining down. Fnatic's going to get full of E-limbed. Exo is going to go out as well. Yep. We have six squads alive now. And Roz snapping in the kill feed here, man. Roz, 3 KP. They're now going to start to walk up again. And here we go, Whisper with some more knocks, and Kick is going to be eliminated with CR underneath, and I love seven where they're at. kills for Roz. Yeah, Roz is absolutely snapping a 7 KP game, man. Absolutely insane, and he gets another one. Why the hell not? CR absolutely going huge Ten kills in this total. late game. 10 kills total for CR as E6 is eliminated, man. Yeah. IBG, though, taking a little bit of an angle here, Greek, and I like what they're doing. They're in doing. a really good spot. Yeah, I just don't know if CR could survive this. They're actually the going to go up top. The Maggie Ball gets two hits. Oh, no, and I think CR is going to go down here. Greek Roz has to go absolutely insane. Can he do it? I'm not too sure. That's a huge drill, and he does not get it. He does knock he one, knock, and NRG is going to still be up top, Greek, with IBG across. We have player K with a 
Kraber. Oh my god, he's hard aiming the roof there. NRG is going to get their Seer ult for this end game. Yeah, NRG will have the Seer, you're 100% correct, but can this boy, Player K, make some big time shots, and that's a knock on the oh Sweet! Sweet god. is indeed knocked, and it ain't Sweet out here, baby. Find out the hard way. NRG's gonna be one man standing for Nate. Player still with seven more shots. Another knock on the Shaddy here, and they're gonna walk in. The Kraber shot coming out, and NRG's eliminated. IBG looking for more blood, and, and they IBG do it. IBG take the W. The recently baby. signed APAC South team comes up huge, big dog, and they take win in game number three. Energy going out in third. That Kraber absolutely changing the tides yes. of that end game there.